nothing. Only the spark of divine consciousness. From this spark, all of creation arose, spinning out from the center, spinning into being, spinning into time, spinning into wheels of life. From the great spiral galaxies thousands of light years across, to the trillions of atoms swirling in a grain of sand, the universe is made from spinning wheels of energy. Spinning wheels of stardust, giving birth to life. Wheels upon wheels spinning through space, solidifying into form, rotating on an axis, orbiting the sun, revolving and evolving through time, the one in the many, giving birth to life. With a single white moon, our shining blue planet spins in space. A planet made of earth and water, and fire and air. A planet of sound and light and beauty, and the consciousness of life. An intricate web woven with exquisite balance. This blessed earth, which is our home, is the great wheel from which our life arises. Generated from the heart of divine spirit, condensing into manifestation, the one in the many, Father Sky and Mother Earth. these currents pass between the chakras, the centers spin like gears that take us on a journey through life. Together, these seven chakras describe a profound formula for wholeness and a template for transformation. of the chakras in the body gives meaning to their respective levels of consciousness, which we will explore as we enter the lotus of each chakra, beginning with a four-petaled red lotus located at the base of the spine. The first chakra represents the material world the indrawing gravity of matter, the force which binds energy into form and creates the density that we experience as the physical world. Its element is earth, and this chakra represents the survival instinct and our primal connection to the earth's matrix of life. 
It is believed that the serpentine energy of the goddess Kundalini Shakti lies coiled three and one half times around the base chakra, holding matter together. When aroused, Kundalini journeys up the spine, piercing and awakening each chakra in turn, seeking her divine partner, Shiva, who abides in pure awareness. The name of this chakra, Muladhara, means root support. To have the proper foundation for the long journey upwards, one needs roots deep in the earth. It is here that you come home to the peace, stillness, and solidity that is found in the natural world. Meditate here with your roots in the earth honoring the temple of your body. Muladhara now remains awakened at the base of the spine as we open to the six-petaled orange lotus of the second chakra called Svadhisthana, meaning one's own place. This chakra is related to the element water and represents the dual nature of existence, the constant ebb and flow of polarity, opposites attracting moving and flowing toward each other with a primal longing to merge together as one. Here we tap into the primal flow of the life force energy pulled by the currents within the soul urged by our longings and desires. At the level of the second chakra, the Kundalini serpent both divides and unites, creating the eternal yin-yang of existence, spinning in ultimate balance. In the body, this chakra emanates from the sacrum, the hips and pelvis, as the seat of movement sensation, pleasure, desire, and emotion. As two bodies connect with each other in erotic communion, they become one in ecstatic embrace, opening to the waters of passion and their ocean of bliss. Satisfied, we move from the waters of the second chakra into the third chakra, located in the solar plexus, the yellow lotus of Manipura, which means lustrous gem. 